You only really need one verse to clarify everything men need to know, and that's verse 23. Just read that again with me. Only this verse is good enough. It says, For the husband is the head of the church, or the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. What a difference those two words make. Even as. So what does that imply? Men, you are not free to choose what headship means for you. You cannot say, well, for me, headship means to sit on the couch and wait for my wife to serve me like a slave. That's for me. That's my type of headship. No, because the text says, even as Christ is the head of the church, we look to Christ. We, he is our example. He is our model. And until your headship doesn't conform to his headship and what that headship looks like, you are not a biblical head. So here's the first point. Headship is patterned after Christ's headship. That's the first aspect. Headship is patterned after Christ's headship. And as the chief goal of Christ's headship, the rest of the verse. Have you noticed? I love that Paul immediately goes on to say what this head did for the church. Just look at the end of verse 23 again. It says, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body and what? Is himself its savior. Isn't that beautiful? The head of the church is the savior of the church. The head of the church died for the church. The head of the church hung on a tree for the church, for his body, in utter shame and condemnation. Now, do you see how that just radically changes what we commonly think of headship? Your headship is not for you. It's not for you. It's not for your convenience. It's not for your comfort. The moment a husband starts demanding to be served in the home in the name of headship, you can say, have you read the passage? Can you read? <laughs> it says, well, in, in respect and in submission, but it says, as Christ is the head, right? And how did Christ come? He came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many, for many. He didn't come to wear a crown of gold, but a crown of thorns. Our example came and emptied himself, made himself nothing, taking the form of a slave for us. Men, by nature, we are competitive, we are strong, and we are aggressive by nature. That's actually part of our masculinity, not necessarily evil. Any of those three things I've just mentioned. But that, that is part of our masculinity. But the problem is when you use your strength, your aggression, and your violence on your family and not for your family. So when you start twisting that masculinity on top of your wife, on top of your children, that's toxic masculinity. That's when you abuse verbally, emotionally, or even physically. But that's not biblical headship. Biblical headship is using your strength, your, comp your, your competitiveness, your aggression to stand in between your wife, your children, and the rest of the world, and every danger around them, spiritual, emotional, physical. That's what we do with our masculinity. Did you know there is something that you can do to support this ministry so that the Word of God can continue spreading to more people? Seriously, all that you need to do is click on the subscribe button. That tells YouTube to continue spreading the message and encourages us to continue producing the content. Thank you. God bless.